I got an email today that I thought was interesting that I'd like to share with you. It's titled Apple's Next Step by Dan. It says, I had an interesting experience today at the Apple Store. I was picking up an iPad mini that my wife had ordered as a Christmas present for her father. When I picked it up, they asked if I wanted insurance for it. I said no, and I was told that I should reconsider, as they will not be offering repairs on it. You can only get a replacement for $350. Obviously, the sales associate had no response when I asked him what the replacement was with regards to refurbishment. By the way, this is interesting because they have been sued for providing refurbished devices rather than new devices to people who had purchased Apple Care. Do you think this is the next step for companies fighting the right to repair? If they simply don't offer any repair services, they won't need to allow anyone else to do so either. Interested to hear your opinion. Thank you. It is most certainly an interesting end run around potential right to repair legislation. Do keep in mind what right to repair legislation is asking for. It's asking that the same parts, schematics, diagrams, manuals, tools, etc. made available to the manufacturers, authorized repair centers, be made available to us. Now, this can be interpreted to mean their depot repair centers, meaning if they're doing refurbishing on their own. However, if they change over to not doing any of their own repairs, then that could mean that we're just going to make give you of it the exact same stuff that we make available, which is jack shit. That's not the part that I found the most interesting here. The part that I find particularly interesting is that the lack of availability of repair is being used to pry people into buying insurance. There are many reasons to make someone consider the purchase of insurance. Perhaps you would say insurance makes sense here because repairs may be expensive, repairs may take a longer amount of time, the insurance may be cheaper if you're accident prone, but I've never heard the idea of you should buy insurance because our product is fundamentally not repairable. Actually using the fact that the product is not repairable as a means of prying people over to insurance, in my opinion, is a radical shift in the Overton window when it comes to the repairability of your property in, in this country and honestly around the world. Again, the idea that that's being used as a selling point, that's, it's not me saying that this product is not repairable. It's the company's own salespeople saying, you really should get insurance because we ain't fixing this regardless of what's wrong with it. I think that's a powerful statement and something that should be considered the next time you hear one of these major manufacturers, particularly Apple, talking about how, no, 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 you don't understand. There's no need for any of this stuff. There's no, like, forget about these third parties, all that. No, we'll take care of you here. Is that their actual selling point, their sales pitch, you should get this insurance because we ain't doing shit for you. Again, we're not fixing this. this. Not even if it's a basic teeny tiny issue, nothing, nada. I was having this argument with somebody in a Mac Rumors forum a while ago, and they were saying that the way it should work is you should have a three or a five year warranty that covers defects that were not caused by the user, and then insurance that covers damage done by the user. And I had asked, okay, let's say that you're, it's damage that was caused by the user and they don't have insurance. And then it's, well, sucks to be you. And that's a really interesting world to live in, where you have to buy insurance in order to get a repair of your device. Because this is something that I have had people on Mac Rumors and also engineers on Reddit that disagree with me on right to repair say on a regular basis, which is that you th th this should be the way it is, that you have stronger consumer protection with regards to in mandating a three or a five year warranty be provided by the manufacturer, which by the way is probably going to increase the price of the product, but that the manufacturer should be offering an insurance that covers accidental damage. And you as the consumer, if you have a problem with your device that was caused by an accidental damage over the course of you living your life and you didn't buy insurance, well, now screw you. Like Just completely erasing the idea of repair. It's a very ballsy move, but it's an interesting one, and I appreciate that they're at least speaking honestly about that as the intention. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.